today's video i am going to solve the problem using newton divided difference so we have to find the values of x as well as y and given x values are 5 6 9 11 whereas the corresponding y values are 12 13 14 and 16 so we have to find the value of y when x is equal to 10 so when the x value is 10 so it lies between 9 and 11 so we have to find out the value of y so using newton divided difference i am going to solve the value of y when x is equal to 10 so the first of all the divided difference table so this is the divided difference table so the values here have plotted as 5 6 9 11 and the corresponding y values are 12 13 14 and 16 the first difference as usual as usual this is 13 minus 12 divided by this is a 6 minus 5 and the next one here is 14 this is 14 minus this value is 13 by this is 9 minus 6 the next one this is a 16 minus 14 by this value is 11 minus 9 first of all we have to calculate these values so here 13 minus 12 is 1 and here also 1 so I got the value of uh, this value is 1 so the next value here is so if you observe this one this is 1 divided by 1 divided by this value is 3 that is 0 0.3333 so this is 0 point i got this as 333 so this is 2 divided by 2 this is again 1 so the next difference here will be see this value is the next difference i'll show you this value is this is 0 0.333 minus 1 divided by now i have to close one thing one term here so this will be 9 minus 5 so this value is 9 minus 5 and the next value here is 1 minus 0 0.333 divided by so if i close this so this will be 11 minus 6 so this is 11 minus 6 so now if i calculate this one see here this is 0 0.003 minus 1 divided by 4 the value here is minus 0 point this is i am covering it as 0 0.167 and the next one this is 1 minus this is 0 0.333 divided by 5 the value here is this value is a 0 0.133 next this difference will be see here the last difference will be so now i am going to close these two so first time i closed two and the next time i'm closing these two this value will be this is 0 0.33 minus of minus plus 0 0.167 divided by this is 11 minus 5 so this is 11 minus 5 that's it and here See, let me show you this is 0 0.133 plus this is 0 0.167 divided by 11 minus 6 so here that it is a 6 divided by the value here is 6 so this is 0 0.05 the value we got is this is 0 point this is 0 0.05 now so this is how we have to fill this divided difference this is the first divided difference this is second divided difference and this is the third divided difference so i am plotting these values as x naught so this is x naught so this is as x1 and this is x2 and this value is x3 so if it, if it's if this value is x naught the corresponding value will be y naught so i need all these values so I am going to use this Newton divided difference. So, according to the Newton divided difference, the formula here is f of x is equal to f of x naught plus x minus x naught into f of x naught comma x1 and <coughs> x minus x naught into x minus x1 into f of x naught x1 x2 plus x minus x naught into x minus x1 into x minus x2 into f of x naught x1 x2 x3 and so on now i am going to substitute all these values so if i substitute all these values you see here so in this case so we need the value of x 
is equal to 10. So we have to substitute x value as equal to 10. So first of all, I am going to substitute all these values. So f of x is equal to, see here, f of x naught value. So f of x naught, x naught value is nothing but. So if it's, if it's x naught, this value is f of x naught which is equal to 12. So from the table I have taken, this is x minus x naught. What is x naught here? This is 5. So this is 5 into the first difference here is 1. And next one x minus x naught so x minus 5 so here x naught so x1 is nothing but 6 so this is x minus 6 into the second difference here the second difference is nothing but this is minus 0 0.167 next one the next value is there here so this is x minus x naught x minus x1 and x minus x2 that is x minus 6 this is x minus 9 into the next difference here is 0 0.05 this is 0 0.05 now i am going to substitute the value of x is equal to 10 so if i keep x is equal to 10 in the above equation see what happens so this will be so f of 10 will be this is 12 plus this is 10 minus 5 into 1 plus this is 10 minus 5 this is 10 minus 6 into this is minus 0 point this is 167 plus this is 10 minus 5 into this is 10 minus 6 into this is 10 minus 9 into this is 0 point this is 0 5 and if I substitute all these values so this is f of 10 value is equal to this is 12 plus 10 minus 5 the value here is 5 into 1 plus this is 5 this value is nothing but 4 and this value is minus 0 0.167 167 and here the value here is 10 minus 5 is 5 this is 10 minus 6 so which is equal to 4 10 minus 9 this value is 1 and this is 0 point this is 0 5 and see here f of 10 value is nothing but this is 12 this is 5 ones of 5 and this value is nothing but so here this is 5 into 4 into this is 0 point this is 167 the value here is 3 point 3.34 so this value is nothing but this is 3.34 plus so if i multiply all these values so this is 5 into 4 into this is 0 0.05 the value here <coughs> the value here is 1 so therefore f of 10 value is nothing but see here this is 12 plus so this is 12 plus 5 minus this is 3.34 plus 1 the value here is 14.66 so we got the value of y as 14.66 when x is equal to 10 so when x is equal to 10 we got the corresponding y value as this is 14.66 using newton divided difference formula so See here it's very easy. So first of all while using a Newton divided difference we need the difference table. So this is how we have to um, create this difference table and after getting all these values again we have to substitute in the difference formulae and here we have to take x is equal to 10 so that we got the y value as 14.66. So if you really like this, if you really understand please practice and share it with your friends. Thank you so much.